Boa tarde. Good afternoon, everyone. Merci d'être des nôtres. Uh, I want to start by uh, uh, recognizing all the friends in the room tonight, uh, to this afternoon. It's so wonderful uh, to see you all. Uh, obviously, uh, Antonio, Prime Minister Costa, uh, what a pleasure to uh, have spent these past two days with you, uh, and a uh, pleasure to see you here today. Uh, amongst all the politicians, there's a few I do need to highlight. Uh, my dear friend, Premier Kathleen Wynne, Premier of Ontario. Uh, Another uh, dear friend, uh, Mayor John Tory, uh, Mayor of Toronto, who's uh, doing an extraordinary job. And, and, and I know we're not supposed to have favorites, but one of my very favorites is in the room. Hazel, it's so wonderful to see you. Hazel McCallion. Alors, je ne parlerai pas longtemps parce que je sais que tout le monde a faim, mais je tenais de porter un toast au Premier ministre Costa et à l'amitié qui unit le Canada et le Portugal. Le 13 mai, nous soulignerons le 65e anniversaire du jour où un groupe d'immigrants portugais est arrivé au Quai 21 à Halifax. Ces immigrants ont contribué à bâtir le Canada moderne et à en faire le pays que nous connaissons et que nous aimons aujourd'hui. Indeed, Portuguese culture shapes our towns and cities in so many ways. From your unshakable family values, to your incredible work ethic, to your passion and love for all things soccer, Portuguese Canadians are a key part of what makes Canada, Canada. For centuries, citizens from Portugal have chosen Canada as their home. For some, it was in search of a new world. For others, it was as refugees. And for more still, it was for the promise of a good life for their families, a new beginning in a friendly country. A vibrant language, a rich culture, exceptional food, terrific music, and a proud identity, Portugal has given so much to Canada. And on a personal note, And on a personal note, as one of the many Canadians who has spent time in Portugal when I was a, a, a much younger man about 20 years ago, I can attest to that. Now, all of you, particularly the Canadians in this room, know that I'm quite outdoorsy and I've spent an awful lot of time camping and traveling across uh, this country. But I have to admit, you haven't lived until you've gone camping in Portugal. I remember a night around a campfire almost 20 years ago on the cliffs above Praia da Adraga. Um, and forget the trail mix and freeze-dried freeze -dried stroganoff. Uh, the meal we had that night on grilled chorizo uh, and blackened peppers and some of the best red wine I'd had, let alone on camping trips, but anywhere, uh, really, really emphasized for me the quality of life and uh, the good friendships that have been built uh, between Portugal and Canada. And I've crossed my fingers uh, that CETA uh, makes Mountain Equip Co-op take notice of Portugal in terms of its <laughs> camping supplies. Um, but as we look to the future, and we know that the influence, charity and accomplishments of Luso-Canadians will shine brightly for the whole world to see. Prime Minister Costa, Antonio, thank you for honoring us with your presence here in Canada. I'd like to propose a toast to Canada, to Portugal, and to strong and enduring friendships. Please charge your glasses. Cheers. Saúde. <laughs> 